basically Treya is this was this woman, uh, wife of Ken Wilber, who was dying of cancer. And she's in Germany one day, and basically the doctors had given up on her and let her go. And so she, she came finally to terms with, like, I, I'm going to die. And in that moment, she's walking in the streets of, uh, I can't remember where, in Germany. <coughs> she's walking in the streets and thinking, like, none of like the things that I want really matter to me at this point. Like there's nothing I want. I don't want to get anything. I don't need success or material gain. She even said like the thought of awakening for her, for own, for her own realization didn't really matter. All that mattered to her in that moment was being of service to other people, helping other people. And that really struck me because my aunt Allison, who had a, I think, 15 year battle with, with really severe cancer and was in a ton of pain, those were her last, that was her last piece of advice to her family uh, that was around her deathbed. She said, the only thing that matters is being in service. It's all that matters. And so they, they said the exact same thing. Um, and service is this. Uh, natural extension of compassion compassion like if you see those dogs you want to help them <laughs> like how can you not you know it, it's a natural outpouring and um, what I'll say about service is that I think initially maybe in this selfish way so to speak um, on one level, if we're just trying to help people to feel good for ourselves, someone may consider that selfish. Like it feels good to help people, so I'm gonna help people, so I'll feel good. But you're helping people and yourself at the same time. <laughs> so how can that be bad? Right? That that's where selfishness as a like as a label just gets thrown out the window. It's like, no, it's oneness, actually. It's, this, is, uh, this is a win-win for everybody involved. And what I'll say is that service to others is service to yourself. And one of the most striking examples of this was when I was speaking with Simon, actually, on the phone one day. I don't know if you remember this, but I had woken up at like 5 a.m. that morning. I was dealing with all this technology crap that I like didn't know how or want to deal with and setting up server. I don't, I don't even know why I was doing it, frankly. It's not my job, uh, but I did. <laughs> Just kind of went down a rabbit hole. And so from 5 a.m. till like 11 a.m., I'm getting ready to tear my hair out. I'm like, I never want to look at Deep Game ever again in my life. I feel like totally just uh, frayed and frustrated and tense. And uh, I have a call with Simon at 11. And so I get on the call and I remember you saying like, hey, are you okay? <laughs> like, well, what's wrong with you, dude? You don't sound right. And uh, I think I, I just told you what happened. And so we start talking about something that you were going through. I can't remember what, but 20 minutes in, I'm like, like bouncing up in my seat, like ready, <laughs> talking to you, working through whatever you were going through. And it completely re restored me from that morning just to help you. And I felt that out there, actually. We had a little like impromptu talk suddenly, Merrick and Weston was there. A few of us were out there. And at the end of it, I was like, man, I feel really good. <laughs> like, let's keep going. It just, it restored me. And um, in that way, like service to others is service to yourself. In the same way that uh, we were discussing like stage three spirit, spirit moves you. It feels like the baby's coming, life force is coming through you to do this thing. You're getting fed with life force in that process. And um, I worked with a, a really talented healer for a number of years. She does acupuncture and some other things. And uh, she would give away, I think like, she told me at one point, one month, it was like $10,000 in free treatment 
free treatment to people who needed it. And some really, really, really sick people would come in. Ten thousand dollars. It's like it's a lot of hours for her. And she just did it for free. And so <laughs> she's giving me a treatment. I'm paying for it, of course. And uh, she said, like her, her previous client had said to her, like, wow, good things must be like coming for you. Really, like that's some good karma. <laughs> some great, that's some really good karma. Great things are coming. And she goes, I don't need any of that. This is what I want to do. Like more good karma, I hope, just helps me do more of this. <laughs> this is the thing, like service to others is service to yourself. Yeah, and I'll, I'll just add to that, that in this game, you get by giving. Everything that you want out of a social interaction, you'll get it by giving it. So you will be accepted by accepting the other person. You will feel loved by loving the other person. You will receive compassion and service from others to the degree that you give them compassion and service. So uh, yeah, in the, in the game of social interaction, in the game of love, in the game of relationships, in the game of life, frankly, for that matter, in the game of, of spirituality, you get by giving.